people of the internet, my name is Johnny. Welcome to a very quick video showing off my reaction and analysis to Click Team's Five Laps at Freddy's trailer. They revealed this an hour before they were supposed to, so I was currently busy reading the brand new VIP interactive novel. If you somehow have missed that I've been streaming every single day so far for the FNAF anniversary, I've been busy doing that, so that's why normal videos are non-existent right now, but I did want to show off my reaction and analysis to the brand new game. So apologies that traditional videos, especially FNAF news videos, are a bit slow. We are getting a lot of FNAF movie news, but like I said, I'm busy streaming the anniversary, so feel free to stop by in the live streams while you wait for tr traditional videos to come back. But without further ado, this is my reaction and analysis to the trailer and Steam page for Five Laps at Freddy's. A demo releases on the 7th of August, we will be streaming that, so just another shameless plug there, but here you go, here's my reaction. Alright, this is the Five Laps at Freddy's trailer, reveal trailer from Click Team. This is their game, which has a demo coming out. Uh, on the 7th for the anniversary. So here we go. I've not seen this. There's Foxy! Seeing a whole bunch of characters here. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We got a windmill in the back. Whole bunch of cars out there. Click team. Let me hear this music. Powered by the Unreal Engine. <laughs> so we got Freddy Racing. I see Balloon Boy's in front of us. There's Balloon Boy. We got some power-ups. Get ready. Chica's here. Is that Springtrap? Springtrap in is in front of us. Mangle's behind us. The race is on. Playing as Freddy. Bonnie's in front of us there. Got a magnet. Power-up. <laughs> We're playing as the Puppet. Night Shift. Puppet is in a cupcake go-kart. Looks like we have power as well. That's the bomb from freaking uh, FNAF World. Looks like we got a kill. What is that? Dude, that looks like the cat from uh, Case Animatronics. Look at that sign. Five laps at Freddy's. Demo comes out on the 7th. Yep, there it is there. Does not seem like we're going to get a release date, but that is the trailer. The music is so hard. There are five laps, much like the title, of course. There are five laps at Freddy's. We got a whole bunch of different playable characters. I'm seeing Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Springtrap, Mangle, the puppet. Just a whole bunch of characters. Seems like there's a whole bunch of courses as well. Boss battles as well, it seems like. Whatever that night shift thing was. That voice is weird. Yeah, this guy. Seems like he's going to be a boss or something. <laughs> it did really look like the cat from Case Animatronics. I don't know why it looks so much like him. I don't know if that's supposed to be like candy or just like some other FNAF cat animatronic. I like this logo, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I feel like it could use some ears here. Right now, it seems like it's a burger. But I feel like if you added some ears, it could look like Freddy's head. That could look cool. It also seems like this is like Fazbear Hills. Kind of from FNAF World. With the windmill in the back. This is the steam page. Five laps. So here's Springtrap. He's looking all grumpy. I'm seeing some puppets. Balloon Boy. Foxy's up there. So he's a playable character. Chica's here. Looks like some kitchen themed area. There's a power meter. Here's Night Shift. I'm assuming this is like some boss. Junior's location. Interesting. So this is from Midnight Motorist. So there's a freaking Midnight Motorist <laughs> level. Okay. There it is right there. That's the car from the minigame. That's crazy. This is the FNAF 6 area in Security Breach. Here's the, here are the tracks. Yeah, so Fazbear Hills, Midnight Motorist, and the Sinkhole. So it seems like those are the three tracks we're getting, at least in the demo. Here's Bonnie. Here's Fo- Oh my god, Fox is absolutely slaying. Off to the side, we got Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Puppet, Mangle. He's got classes as well, so it's going to go pretty in-depth. Welcome to Five Laps at Freddy's, the premier animatronic kart racing circuit. Featuring your favorite and lovable Fazbear friends. Sponsored by Fazbear Entertainment. Select one of 12 of your favorite animatronic FNAF character. Hashtag. Gotta get that hashtag FNAF in there. And race on 16 tracks set across four cups. That is crazy. Each track is based on your favorite location from the FNAF lore. Including Fazbear Hills, Midnight Motorist, and more. Starting out on the day shift. A relatively safe place. You'll, com you'll compete to take first place. But make sure to manage your cart's battery power. Use too much boost. Okay, so battery is like the boost. Uh, or take too many hits, and you may end up on the night shift. <gasps> okay, so it's like a, like a flip side. 
So the normal track takes place uh, on the daycare. Not the daycare, the day shift. <laughs> and that's like the normal place. But if you lose too much health or lose too much battery, you go to the night shift, which will presumably have that boss, that night shift boss. I like the I like the sound of that. Where not only do you have to worry about winning, you'll also have to avoid an angry endoskeleton who's on the hunt for you. While navigating the tracks, find birthday presents, uh, which contain items that can help you reach number one. Everything from the Faz Blaster to the Cupcake Boost. Each item even has a power-up mode, should you dare to risk some of that precious battery power. You'll also find glitched power-ups, which, which can increase your battery size and maximize speed, so long as you don't hit and lose some of them again. <gasps> I like the sound of this, man! Now that I've read the description, I like the sound of this a lot. So the full thing releases next year, and a demo comes out in a few days on the 7th. As long as the gameplay's fun, I'm all there for it. I don't think it's gonna be, like, too big on secrets or lore or whatever. I'm excited to just have, like... I've been wanting a kart racer for a long time, so I'm happy that we're finally getting one. And it's coming so soon. I also... It's gonna be interesting to know if it's gonna be, like, live service, or if they at least, like, update it with... More tracks, more characters, in the form of either free updates or, or DLC. Hopefully, at least. Because they said 16 characters. Sorry, did they say 16 characters? What did they say? They said 12 characters in 16 tracks. 12 characters in terms of FNAF is quite small. So I do hope there are updates in the future that expand the roster. Because I'm sure they have, like, the important people there, like the main characters. But I, I really, really would love more character representation, you know? But it does seem like... Is that a staff bot? Like, flying behind us? Or is that the uh, the night shift guy? The endo? It's definitely someone flying behind us. So this is the, uh, the flip side. Or the night shift. Yeah, there he is. That looks so cool, man. That looks so cool. That's the movie logo as well. Buy one, get one free. Yeah, this looks so fun. I hope they expand on it. I, I really hope they expand on it. Obviously, that's asking for a lot when it's just, <laughs> you know, they're only showing off the demo. This is just the reveal trailer. But I really, like, this has the chance to be huge. This has the chance to go on for a long, long time if they keep updating it after launch, which I really hope they do. Some of the power-ups look interesting as well. We saw the bomb there from FNAF World. This is us entering the flip side. That, that looks like the head from the Glamrock Freddy head at the, the start of the FNAF 6 entrance in the uh, the sinkhole in security breach. Got a door here. Maybe we can, like, block someone off. The Fazer gun. I saw it. Exotic Butters is a power-up right there. FNAF World Bomb. The Fazer gun. Yeah, a lot of... There's a Firework. Firework Freddy. Oh! <gasps> Imagine they have skins for the characters. That could be interesting, because a lot of the characters in FNAF are just reskins of already existing characters. So I guess that could be a good way to technically expand the roster without having to develop completely new characters necessarily. But yeah, this looks like a lot of fun. This looks like a lot of fun. I will definitely, definitely be streaming the demo and absolutely playing the full game when it comes out next year. That looks like a blast, man. Oh my god.